Hello, it's How To Not To and today I'm going to be reviewing the MacBook Air 2017 laptop and to begin my review I'm going to um, take you through the origins of the MacBook Air. Um, the first MacBook Air was introduced in 2008 by Steve Jobs and initially was known as the world's thinnest notebook. A critical turning point in the development of the MacBook Air was in 2010 when it was redesigned which um, implemented a new improved screen resolution and flush storage. There have been continuous updates to elevate the MacBook Air to newer heights. As stated before this is the 2017 edition which has a um, Intel processor of the fifth generation. One drawback the laptop is not suitable for games as it can't support many gaming platforms. It's more um, appropriate for students or light use. Um, it has 8 gigabytes of RAM which um, is a moderate amount for light gaming. General uses, for instance, browsing with 1.3 gigahertz which um, can be extended to 2.6 gigahertz with turbo boost. So it's incredibly lightweight, just under three pounds. So ideally, if you're using it to travel, uh, you can easily open the laptop with just one hand. So uh, on the bottom of the laptop, we have rubber feet. Now, taking a look at the structure of the laptop, the battery, memory, and RAM are encased within the laptop so they are not easily accessible. So the FaceTime has 1280 um, by 720 HD camera which is uh, pretty good if you're using the, um, the webcam. The most appealing attribute of the laptop on the first impression is its sleek, stylish and classy appearance guaranteed to please you. The two USB and SD ports are still accessible to users as many newly developed laptops are eliminating them from their design. The downsides became evident when it came to actually using the laptop as there was a lack of detail and depth within the graphics. The screen size being a 13 inch is quite limiting if you're not willing to settle for such a small screen, you should opt for a larger screen, which is between 15 inch and 17 inch. Um, there are two speakers for stereo located within the laptop, so um, take into account the pragmatic factors when considering to repair your laptop. The slim design is um, ideal to travellers and the incredible battery life of 12 hours, meaning you won't have to keep charging continuously. Uh, perfect when travelling. A major limitation is the unresponsiveness of the touchpad, as when, you, um, when the touchpad sensor is lightly tapped, I receive no response, so the sensitivity is low to elicit a response. To add to this, the keyboard is backlit, which is beneficial for nighttime use. The lighting doesn't have a grave impact on the efficiency of the laptop, as it hardly takes up any energy usage. However, it comes on during the day when it's not needed and there is an inability to switch it off through the um, settings on the laptop that I know of. In addition to the display screen lacking definition leads me to believe that the MacBook Air is overpriced, commonly marketed at uh, 999. To conclude, if you're looking for a laptop which can handle heavy usage or multitasking, this is not the one for you. But drawing away from the downside, it's perfect for light use, travellers, students, or as an additional laptop with its sleek and stylish design. So that's it. Um, if you liked my video, please um, subscribe to my channel and do click on the notification button to receive more videos. And um, thank you very much for watching.